Hey, what's going on guys, Courtmaster here. And in today's video, I want to explore the iPad and its abundance of music apps that I've downloaded over the past uh, several years. And I wanted to kind of explore ways to integrate utilizing um, these interesting sounds that are in these apps with the OP1. And so for the longest time, just to kind of give you guys a little background and a little history here, I have a, a ton of iOS apps. Um, here's some of the music ones that I have right here. And then I have, I think, another folder which has like a lot of other maybe like lesser used music apps and synths and such. And so my thing was that it, it became a lot for me um, to kind of figure out where home base was going to be on the iPad for music. So when I say home base, I mean, what app was I going to use to to create my music? Is it AUM? Is it Core Gadget? Is it Koala? Was it Loopy Pro? Um, uh, Cubasis, Beatmaker 3, I think I'm probably missing a few. Um, yeah, uh, Drambo was one that I explored, Sampler, which was there. So there was like a whole lot of different places that you could sort of make music, GarageBand. Um, and then there was a whole lot of different places that had really, really interesting sounds that some of the apps that I just mentioned that support AUV3, for example, would allow you to sort of move it in, right, and be able to just make sure I'm still recording. Uh, yes, and be able to kind of utilize these these interesting apps within that that um, place that you're creating the music at. So that was a problem for me because like Core Gadget was by far my most used app over the years, and I still do use it um, not as regularly nowadays. But that workflow just really worked for me, and it was just really interesting for me, and kind of clicked right away. The issue is that you can't bring sounds into Core Gadget. So you can only use the gadgets that are there. And that was um, a little bit bothersome because things like this, for example, there's apps like this, Bliaz app here, that have really interesting, really interesting sounds, right? And so I, I just kind of got to thinking a little bit. I'm like, I've been spending a lot of time on the iPad, I'm sorry, on the OP1 field as of late. And uh, what I wanted to kind of do is explore sort of bringing sounds from these different music apps and recording them to tape. Now, there's different ways that you can do this. You can either like, you know, kind of start a, a four bar loop and like record stuff directly onto tape, or you could even sample some of these sounds. So I just kind of wanted to explore both of these things uh, a little bit and just kind of have an open ended workflow, kind of talk through what I'm doing and what I'm discovering and um, and keep the conversation going below, right? Like so if there's things that you guys uh, would like to share with me about your workflow, how you're utilizing your iPads nowadays in 2023, um, definitely let me know because I'd be, I'd be really interested in, in kind of hearing and, and being inspired, right? This video came as a result of my man, uh, Dylan Paris, who dropped a video that I was watching in the gym this morning and he was just doing something similar to this, except in his end, he was, he didn't have the, iP the uh, why do I keep calling this iPad? He didn't have the OP1 field. Um, he was using a MIDI keyboard with GarageBand first off, and then he was kind of just exploring a little bit. And I was like, yo, I haven't done that in a while. Let me let me do that as well. And hopefully you, you guys enjoy this this type of video, but let's, uh, let's kind of go ahead and go into here. I, I want to start with like some sounds and kind of find something that I think is interesting. Oh, you gotta hit this. Uh-uh. 
so that was a little off. So I'm gonna lift this. I'm gonna let it cycle. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of come back a little bit. And what do I do? Record? Yeah. Ah, hang on. That wasn't quite it. I'm just gonna let it cycle. Just for me, might be a little bit easier. I forgot which chords we were doing already though. I think it's this right here. Here we go now. pretty good so let me come in here and let me turn gate mode on I mean duck mode on all right let's uh, experiment with this Interesting how that that works. I have to kind of continue learning that. But yes, okay. So that that's a start. So a couple different things here. I'm just gonna take a quick detour. I want to explore some with some more sounds in here, for sure. It's a little loud.
All right, so yes, let's keep checking out some different sounds in here. And actually, you know what? I'm I'm gonna lift this. I don't like where this is going <laughs> at all, so I'm gonna lift this and start over. And that's okay because that's what this is all about. All right, let's go here. Let's try again. Ugh, again. That's not quite there either. Cause it's like, it's not timed perfectly. I wish this started recording as soon as it catches that. Cause I have to kind of time it and I don't, that's why it's not like getting right on the beat, but that's okay, I'm, I'm gonna figure it out. See, even that's like slightly off. Let's see. Still slightly off. All right, let's try it. pretty good. Slightly off. Still slightly off. Let's let it let it loop again. Or maybe let's come back a little bit. Uh yeah, there we go.
Okay. Um, yeah. Cool. So that is app number one. Bleas. Ble bleas. Bleas. However that's pronounced. Let's go to another. Let me do another four bar loop. And let's go. Th there's a ton of really great sounds in here. I can already see myself just, yeah, really having a blast with that. Let's go into um, one that I've used before and really, really enjoy this Sega 16th bit. So let's try a little bit of sounds in here. All right, so something, it's gotta be the, this. All right, so let's see. So let's turn this back up. remember how to is it scale and then that's the one thing about these keyboards in a lot of these apps is they kind of default to non-chromatic scale which like as a piano player as someone who plays music like I need all the keys I need all the keys
So you have to keep changing these. You have to keep changing them. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. These videos are interesting, right? Because you give people an opportunity to see your setup, to see your workflow. And sometimes like the creativity is not fully there. And to keep it a hundred, you like that, a hundred? Um, I'm not feeling as creative right now. And that's okay. I'm still gonna release the video. I still want you guys to see this workflow and just to kind of get an idea of kind of where I'm at. Um, with regards to like how I'm planning to implement uh, a lot of the the interesting apps that we talked about in to the into here right and kind of you know seeing that it's not necessarily an immediate thing that's going to happen in terms of like as you saw like when I was trying to do the um, like record and start at the same same exact time like they, it was off quite often um, just tapping a, a screen and a button at the same time was kind of like not working and then I was like oh let me go exactly one bar before and then that kind of counts as a metronome right or a, a count in I should say for the metronome so there's a lot of things like that I'm gonna do another one of these um, this these videos and I'm almost inclined I'll leave I think everything here except for this iPad which I need for other things but I, I think I'll just leave the rest of this stuff here for now I think um, yeah, I think I'll do that uh, just so I can make some more some more content with this stuff. So if this was helpful, if you guys enjoyed it and want to see more content like this, please let me know in the comments below. That's super helpful for me to know what to focus on making. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. All right. Have a great one. Thanks for watching and take care. Here comes the hand. <laughs> All right. Later. <laughs>